I'm at the family library and there's a lot of noise going on because a lot of excitement here today with uh, the children just been uh, coming in. It's to uh, celebrate the launch of this new Gruffalo book that's been done in Manx. Dr Nat, I love that, is with me. Uh, this is your translation, your work. Tell us about it. Um, I had the idea a couple of years ago watching um, on BBC Alba the Scottish Gaelic version. I thought to myself, well, why... If it's in Scots Gaelic, why can't it be in Manx? Um, and then I decided to translate it myself, sent word to Adrian, and he put the wheels in motion and got sponsorship from Lloyd's and produced the Gruffalo. And then the Gruffalo's child followed a couple of years later. Because uh, the original one did well, I believe. So this is perfect uh, for Christmas market, I, I would assume. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> did it, what was um, the much... Uh, trouble doing on the translation? Um, the first one wasn't too bad, the second one was far more challenging. Um, I had a lot of help from Chris Sheard who was the editor, or the Manx editor, um, and it was definitely a lot more challenging than the, the original version. So. Well there's readings going on here to, today as well which is lovely, so again people being brought up, they know the story so well no doubt, and to have it in the Manx language must be fantastic for them. Yeah, it's really, I'm really pleased um, and I've heard people in England, Wales, America have bought copies, so that's quite nice to know as well. So where do you go from here? What's next? I really don't know. I quite enjoy translating stories. Um, I've done a couple of others with Paul O'Murray um, from Irish into Manx and they've been published by Manx Heritage, so there might be another um, Julia Donaldson one, there might be something different. Now, if anyone's buying this, I noticed at the back there's a, a CD. What's on that? Um, that's a recording of Annie Kizak from the Bunskull narrating the story, uh, particularly for parents that are not confident in their own Manx, or just who are lazy. <laughs> but she does a really good job of doing all the voices, and um, it's a fantastic version. So, so where's this going to be available, the book? Um, <laughs> just a good question. I'm from Manx Heritage and in a lot of the bookshops on the island.